Jesus was preaching to the crowds from one of Simon's boats. And Jesus knew Simon had already cleaned his nets after a long and disappointing night of fishing with no results. So what must have he have felt and thought when Jesus, after preaching to the crowds, told him, put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. After all, what does a carpenter know about fishing? But Simon Peter and his disciples, despite their experience, put their trust in the Lord and did as Jesus said. The results were more than they could have ever hoped for. They caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. Jesus then connects their faithful response to evangelization, assuring the amazed disciples that he would soon make them fishers of people. Jesus is asking you to trust him. You and I have been called to trust in Christ. Pope Francis urges all baptized Catholics to see themselves as missionary disciples, since that is what it means to be Catholic. Both you and I are in good company then when we think of the apostles. During our recent eparchial sabor, we heard about some of the challenges people are facing in their faith journeys. Many find it difficult to share their faith with others as they strive to live the gospel call of Jesus Christ in our world. Our parishes and our eparchy also struggle to find resources to meet many needs identified by parishioners in the pew. As we work to evangelize, to reach out to those who are suffering, and to pass on our faith to the next generation. Our new Sabor document is a summary of the specific needs of all the parishes in the eparchy. If those needs are commonly found in most of the parishes, then the most fitting way to respond to them is together as an eparchy to try then to meet those needs. In other words, the Sabor has given us a roadmap of hope-filled initiatives and suggestions for moving forward together in the future and walking and working together with Christ as we put out into the deep and let down our nets for a catch. In a spirit of cooperation then, in a spirit of sharing and trust in Christ, I'm therefore inviting each of you to participate in our newly launched annual Eparchial Appeal as a way to provide the funds that we need to begin to put your parish needs and decisions of the support into action. Eparchial ministries that will be supported by this first annual Eparchial Appeal include education and faith formation programs, the Ukrainian Catholic Religious Education Center, the Eparchial Communications Office, the Family and Life Office, and the Youth and Young Adult Ministry Office. Funds from the annual Eparchial Appeal will assist the Eparchial Liturgy Committee with leadership development and training, both among the clergy and the laity. Your support for the appeal will also go toward the education of seminarians studying for the priesthood. Since 1992, more than 70 laypeople have taken part in the Eparchial Lay Formation Program, deepening their understanding of their Ukrainian Catholic faith, their experience of prayer, and of Christian community. In addition to coordinating lay formation, the Ukrainian Catholic Religious Education Center provides resources and workshops to catechists across the eparchy who are engaged in the formation of children and youth. It provides Bible study materials to parishes and families and operates a library of resources. With increased financial support, the center will endeavor to put the library catalog online, part of plans to update their website. Another major initiative is to promote the upcoming English translation of the Ukrainian Catholic Catechism, Christ is our Pascha. The Eparchial Communications Office coordinates the Eparchy's website, produces the Eparchial News, and utilizes social media. Funds from the annual Eparchial Appeal will permit the Communications Office to maintain and expand its efforts of transparency and timely current news. In this digital age, it's more important than ever that the Eparchy communicate with its members through print, through the new online media, and through the new social media as well.
The family and life office was established to defend the sacredness of life from conception to natural death, and to promote the sanctity of marriage and the family as a domestic church, a school of holiness. Among the projects that the annual Eparchial Appeal will support is the ongoing implementation of the new program, My Family Home, a place to encounter the living Christ. Parents, grandparents, and godparents can sometimes feel overwhelmed with the challenge of transmitting our beautiful Ukrainian Catholic faith to the children that God has given them. We are committed to supporting them in that call. Sarah Butchko was recently hired as the Ukrainian Catholic Youth and Young Adult Ministry Coordinator for the Eparchy and is eager to pursue a number of priorities related to youth ministry. As an Eparchy, we want to meet the needs of our youth. We would like them to grow spiritually and worship together in Christ. We want them to share their gifts and make it relevant for them too. These are a few of the many needs of the Eparchy. By combining our time, talent and treasure, we can work together to strengthen God's kingdom on earth. I encourage each one of you to prayerfully reflect on the information about our annual Eparchial Appeal and your parish needs that we are addressing through this appeal. I invite you to participate and to respond generously. Through your generosity, you will strengthen the work of our Ukrainian Catholic Church in this time and place, just as our pioneers did when they first came to this country and built the very churches you and I pray in today. We can trust that God wants to use us and the gifts that we all have been given for building up His kingdom, His eparchy that He entrusted to us. Let us journey together then with Christ into the future, confident that as we build vibrant parishes and faith-filled families, we will transform our lives and our communities as missionary disciples in the world. Let us go forward in hope and joy as we respond to the call of Christ to put out into the deep. It is through us that Christ can show his abundant generosity once again. Slava Jesus Christu. Glory to Jesus Christ. <laughs>